Greetings. I very much regret not being with you. This is an important conference. Quality apprenticeships supported by workers and employers. And indeed, uh, the OECD, thank you for coordinating this event. The B20 and the L20 are absolutely determined to see that this issue of quality apprenticeships is on the agenda with the G20, with employers globally, with governments globally, and of course, unions in many countries negotiate increases in numbers, in sectoral agreements or in large enterprises, and we uh, negotiate fair wages. But we need tripartitism without employers, without unions, without governments backing quality apprenticeships. This is not possible. The importance of this can't be underestimated. In a world where we have high levels, historic levels of unemployment, young people are more marginalised than any other group. And in the formal sector, more than half of our workers have insecure, often unsafe work, often on very low wages. Young people are overrepresented. In the informal uh, economy, we in fact have 40% of the world's people now without rights, struggling to survive. No compliance, no minimum wages, no social protection, and indeed, young people are again overrepresented. Since 2013, we've had an agreement with the employers in the context of the G20. All I can say is, unions want to be at the table with employers to support quality apprenticeships, to actually negotiate curriculum that is relevant to the workplace, to work with governments, to see that they invest in uh, apprenticeships, to expand apprenticeships across the gender divide, to more industries, to make sure our young people have a chance. Quality apprenticeships, they're a significant part of the response to youth unemployment. They're part of a youth guarantee. We would urge the G20 governments to make sure this is on the agenda once again so we can scale up apprenticeships, we can give young people hope. Thank you for taking the time to be at the conference, to work on this issue. We salute you and we are behind the recommendations that we know will be forthcoming and we'll advocate those with the B20 and the L20 for the G20 governments. Thank you.